Welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend in astronomy, science, and telescopes. So, last time, you guys saw how I got the Skywatcher 12-inch flex tube. Now, there is one thing that's missing. It does have a electric warmer that was custom-made by the previous owner for the secondary mirror, which is great, so which means it shouldn't get dude and I actually have a power bank, which I charge for my battery when I'm out. Now, mind you, I hardly ever use it because I'm always somewhere where I can charge it with an AC power. But it is a USB, this thing, so I think it would be perfect, that situation. Now, there is one thing that it doesn't come with and I think it needs, which is the shroud. Now, I was looking online for the pre-made shrouds and man, are they expensive. Can't totally remember offhand, but I'll post it how much they are in US and Canada, but they are fairly expensive for a piece of cloth to protect it. So here's what I did. In Canada, we have a store called Fabicland. I was gonna go there. I did check on Amazon and since they had it and it was fairly reasonable price, again, I will post this up because it wasn't that expensive. It was fairly cheap. I just ordered an Amazon, let it get delivered. It was only like the next day. So this is black felt. Now this is like, this is actually pretty long. It's not even folded. I believe it's 25 inches wide, which is exactly what I measured I need. I think it's about 23 and a half the opening. So 25 gives me about an inch overlap, which is perfect. Um, it is very long, so I think I might be able to do two of these or keep half for another project. Now this one is actually fairly thick. I don't know if you could see that. Now do you remember the six inch heritage? What I have for the six inch heritage is a blue rubber that I use for the padding of it when I travel with it, but it also serves me after as the dew shield. That one's very, very thin. That one is self sticky and it's about a millimeter thick. It's very, very thin. This one is about three millimeters, so about three times thicker. Maybe one day in the future, I might change that. It does work, but the double-sided or the stickiness of the inside is starting to kind of peel off in a few places. So I might uh, use the other, the other half of this and maybe glue it on, but that's a different story. Anyway, so felt velcro now mind you this is velcro from the dollar store so normally when you get cheaper velcro like this it either doesn't stick as good uh, this one's the sticky kind i am gonna put a little bit of contact cement also need a flexible ruler that way you can measure around the telescope I used to have a type of tool that, you know, on your belt where you can, if you lose or gain weight, you can do extra holes that will punch through it. I think my ex has that. So I don't have it right now, but I thought one of these punch hole things might work just to make a hole or a few holes. You will need scissors. And I did keep this. So one of my old running shoes this is uh, at least three feet. Uh, I kept the laces and I think it fits perfect. If I do it all the way around, yeah, I got about at least eight inches overlap. So my thinking is I'll put a couple of holes through the top, wind this through, and then I can just tie it at the top, at the bottom, a shoelace knot, and then Velcro on the opening side. So that's the materials if you guys want to make your own for a fraction of what they sell pre-made ones. And again, this is not even 24 inch uh, here opening. I think it's 46 around. It's not even that big. So let's try to make our own. Okay, first thing we need to do is measure the very top. So we'll do it by inches. This is going to be tight, okay? But I do want to make it loose. So it's 44 inches around the tube. Now, I think I'm going to do it 46 inches just because 
do you know that saying? Measure twice, cut once. So if I cut this too tight, and then it, you know, I need more slack, let's say, it's already too late because it has to go over this white part here. Now let me show it to you guys. This white part here, you see how it jets out on all the corners? I can't make it tight to the frame because it needs to probably go here. So you know what, let's measure this again and this time let's go on the outside. I could always, if I find I need to cut it, then it's easy to do. Yeah, if I do it here to this white part, no, maybe I'll do 48 just in case. I want to have enough that if I have to shrink it after I can cut it, but if I cut it too small, there's no way I can unless I sew it. So let's just do 48 inches and I want it at least one inch over this lip and then one inch under. So which means I'm getting, yeah, 23 and a half. It's 25. I think I'll leave it at 25. There's no point cutting it one inch. I can always trim it later if I need, but I think a little bit extra is better than a little, little bit less. So I guess let's do all this over here. Okay, so this is the piece that I have left. It's roughly, let me see, 25 inches by 34 inches. That might be actually pretty much perfect for the heritage if I do decide to use it for that one after. But anyway, right now it's spare. So I actually made it 49 inches just in case. Let's go check it out. Okay, of course it's a dry fit, just to make sure. Yeah, I think I was good to make it. 49 inches. Seems a little bit tight. Whew. I wonder if I just made it. So I think it's a tiny, just really tight. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. I think I should have made it 50 inches. Would have been perfect. But that's why I went a little bit bigger. I think 49 is gonna work. Here is that hole punch thing. So we're gonna see if this can make a hole. Oh, that's pretty good. So I'm not sure if you can see that. Almost a perfect circle there, right there. So I think it's gonna work. I don't know exactly how many holes to put. I'm just gonna put it every uh, 12 inches or one foot. Uh, first time I'm doing something like this. Nope. Okay, let's do the other way. Just gonna use the knife. We're gonna poke it through. Okay, there we go, let's go test it out. This is new to me, guys, so give uh, give me a break. Okay, guys, so I think I kind of have it. I mean, it's probably not gonna be as fancy as a real one. I think what I'd like to do is do more holes, and then that way I can go in and out of the fabric a little bit more. Okay guys, it is not perfect. This is just a homemade thing, but I do gotta put some Velcro. As you can see, it's open right there, right? But it does hold it. So if I put a couple pieces of Velcro here, then I think it's gonna close. It's gonna mostly serve the purpose. I already had the shoelaces. I had that glue, I had that Velcro. I basically had everything. I just didn't have the felt. 
Okay, I didn't pay much. It was $22.99. I think with the taxes and stuff was probably like $24. So for $24, I can kind of do this scope and I have uh, enough to do the heritage maybe or something else. So it's really not a lot. Okay guys, so as you see, I put some Velcro on and actually, even though it's a dollar store Velcro, it's holding on fairly tight. Uh, maybe because it's felt, it's very furry type of thing. Anyway, I just, uh, yeah, that's it. So I think it's fine. The only question is, I'm gonna try it for a while. Anyway, hopefully that works. And hopefully that shows you guys how you can do one cheap if you don't mind spending a little effort and maybe it might take a few extra uh, one minute longer to set up that's it that's it guys like comment and subscribe if you know anybody getting in the hobby share my channel and link with them if you're on the forums and maybe someone's asked about sometimes these doi stuff say hey joe's done that for a fraction of what it costs and uh, check them out and i do have members uh, videos where once a month I put a video just for the members. It does not go public. It's only 99 cents to see that video and it helps contribute and pay for a lot of the stuff that I do on the channel. Why not you? Why not me?